好的，我们马上就要开始我们第二轮的队长 routine battle 了。这一轮有整整七条毛巾嘛，所以这一轮肯定大家也是拼尽全力，想要争取更好的分数。那我们现在转瓶子，决定一下出战顺序。庚哥，这一轮我来转吗？你转呗。来来来，看我的手气怎么样啊 ？Again！ 来来来来来来，参加了这么多季，终于轮到我转瓶子了。<笑>第一个输着，对。开外包。我只看你啊。啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！和大家队员们完成了我们第二轮的 routine battle， 真的还蛮开心的。小丁第一个 battle 慢慢之后之后的时候，他越来越兴奋，越来越放开，对我觉得很很酷。辛苦辛苦辛苦。I feel like everybody's gonna do that dance. Thanks. Yeah, we did that. Of course, yeah, I think. Yeah, everybody's doing it. There's nothing else you can do in that that point, like.、Uh, Show us the cuteness. Yeah, right. Eat it up. Okay, music. Hey!我觉得大家都没有想到的，当大家听到音乐的时候，会有一个画面，我可能会去做这些，但是他打破了，呃，大家可能会做的一些东西，啊，去跳了crump，他们选择用最硬核的方式去表现最柔软的歌，但是合在
I'm not sure, baby. <laughs> your honey, your honey, your honey. <laughs> Game of Thrones, yeah, 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 yeah. When his team opened his shirt and did that Tupac thing, I was like, yo, okay, he's cool, very cool. And also, in the end of his choreography, he did something like, whoa, this is so cool. Okay, two rounds of the routine battle are all done. Before the final round, the three contestants are going to talk about the experience of the battle this time. 先让我们的丁队长好。哦，呃，首先呢，我特别享受这一切，然后也辛苦我的队员们，辛苦。然后也谢谢大家，创造了这一场 Group Battle。Group。就是希望大家玩的开心。我们都是热爱跳舞的人。Group。Yeah, I mean, you know, this is my first day, and uh, it, it makes us really feel like a team coming together. And then uh, uh, there's a mission, and obviously it's going to be difficult because there's a time limit under the circumstances. So uh, I feel like it really, instead of just the captain, make us feel like a real, real team. So it, it's good. It's fun. 那我们吴队说一说这次的感受吧。其实我今天一开始的时候也是有点小紧张，但到这边的时候就看我们大家放松，然后是开心的，然后就是 and just everybody enjoy like nothing matters except the stage and except that moment and then that we're doing this all together is so beautiful it's amazing 非常兴奋期待 next round what everybody can do yeah. 好，那么接下来我要为大家公布第二轮的分数。丁成新队长第二轮获得分数是一百零五分。朴泰范队长获得的分数是一百零九分。One one hundred nine nine yeah yeah。吴天豪队长在第二轮获得分数是。八十三分，所以最后的总分，吴建豪队长一百九十五点五分，丁成新队长一百九十六分。第二个，做高零点五分，高零点五分。朴泰范队长。二百零一分，所以在这一轮队长白头当中获胜的是朴宰范队长。第二回合是一首很卡哇伊的、很可爱的一首歌，大家都会想着把这首歌跳得很可爱，去配合这首歌。但是朴队长的话，我觉得他剑走偏锋，他反而打了一个落差，他用街舞里面最用力的 crum 的那种肌肉的感觉去跳一首很可爱的音乐，而且把里面的音效也都卡满了，所以朴队长赢的比较明显。I love Ding in this piece. I thought he did more natural and more comfortable with his dancing. I thought the overall piece was a little, you know, TikTokish, you know, but it was a good piece and. I thought he, there he showed more of his uh, ability to perform and use his dance ability comfortably. Well, Captain Wu, for this performance, it was too, uh, wasn't enough dancing for himself. He would do the, you know, the thing with the, the like he's uh, picking up the weights in the gym. Uh, cute, you know, nice idea, but it's a lot of acting. A lot of facial shot, a lot of you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at my other people dance, but not a lot of participation as a dancer. It's okay, guys. We did good. We did good. We did good. Be proud. Be proud. We did good. Good job. Good job. 确实，我们没有跳的比其他人多。我认了这件事情啊。是一个 crew battle 嘛，然后要做的东西还是存在。我们还是用一个舞蹈的方式去表现这件事情，感
感觉非常的快乐，虽然很累，但是你会一直处于一个兴奋的状态。大家一起战斗过，会变得更加的默契，会变得更加的熟悉，会变得更加的信任彼此，大家会更加的放松，才会有更好的状态。Uh, more than b-boy, he's a very versatile artist. So it doesn't matter if he's a b-boy, popping, locking, crumping, or whatever they might call it. Like when it comes to perform, we bring it all together, you know, and that's his quality. Dancing, I mean, for me, it gave me a sense of identity. And me being from, you know, heavily involved in the street dance culture, just made me feel empowered and, and, and good. And I like that I wanted to go to the, the dance studio every day and I wanted to practice and I, I wanted to go meet my friends and go battle and you know, test myself, so. I can see that everyone is very enjoying this process. Of course, the player can be able to complete a piece of work with his own choice. On the stage, the passion, 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 the passion. 这点点滴滴都会成为你在你的经历里边点亮的一颗回忆的一个星星。通过舞台展示，相信大家对队长和舞者们都有了进一步的了解。这就是街舞官微联合微博综艺发起了“我镜头下的街舞队长，我镜头下的舞者”系列活动。队长、舞者以及微博网友们可以通过视频记录、绘画等各种方式展示你镜头下的街舞。优质内容将有机会作为惊喜彩蛋在节目中展示。好的，接下来来自这就是街舞 studio 的孩子们将会带来他们的表演作品《状态在线》。孩子们希望通过这个作品向世界舞者与观众展示新一代中华少年文体风采，表现年轻舞者的激情、活力与自信，时刻保持在线。这就是街舞 Studio 全国首店已在北京回龙观体育中心正式开业。Studio 是拥有全球顶级街舞师资力量及丰富教学经验的全品类街舞文化工作室，致力于让每一个学员都能成为一名全能舞者，让每一个舞者都能登上更高更广的舞台。接下来有请他们。<笑>